your testosterone drops by 1 to 2% every single year after age 30. That's the bad news. The good news. A recent study found that men who could hang from a pull-up bar for over 60 seconds had 23% higher testosterone than men who couldn't last even 30 seconds. That's not a coincidence. That's biology. And today, I'm going to show you seven specific isometric holds that naturally spike your testosterone. No injections, no supplements, no complicated protocols. Just 15 minutes, three times a week. Here's what most men don't know. Isometric holds trigger an acute testosterone surge that can last up to 48 hours. Why? Because these holds target your nervous system, not just your muscles. They activate mechanoreceptors, neural drive, and the exact brain pathways that regulate hormone production. These aren't random exercises. They're scientifically designed movements that trigger the precise physiological response your body needs to optimize testosterone, naturally. And it all starts with grip strength. Let's begin with the two foundational holds that establish the critical grip. Testosterone connection your hormonal system depends on. Foundation hold number one, the dead hang. This is the single most powerful grip-based trigger for boosting testosterone. How to do it? Grab a pull-up bar with an overhand grip, thumbs wrapped, no false grip. Lift your feet completely off the ground. Hang for as long as possible. Start wherever you are, even 15 seconds is enough to begin. Your goal is to reach the research-backed 60-second threshold, where testosterone benefits peak. Why it works? Your hands contain the highest concentration of mechanoreceptors in your entire body. When you grip intensely, those receptors send powerful signals directly to your hypothalamus, the control center for testosterone production. That neural pathway explains why grip strength consistently correlates with hormone levels across multiple studies. What makes this unique? The dead hang combines spinal decompression, maximum grip demand, and full body neural activation. Your grip becomes the limiting factor, not your shoulders, not your back. And that intense neural drive is exactly what triggers testosterone production. Foundation hold number two, the farmer's hold. This amplifies everything the dead hang just activated. How to do it? Grab two heavy objects, dumbbells, kettlebells, water jugs, heavy bags, whatever you have. Hold them at your sides. Stand tall, shoulders back, chest open, core tight. Grip as hard as you possibly can. Hold time, 60 to 90 seconds. What makes this different? The farmer's hold combines crushing grip intensity, full body postural tension, and continuous neural activation. Your traps, core, and stabilizers stay under constant tension while your grip works overtime to maintain control. Doubling mechanoreceptor activation compared to single hand exercises. Key cue. White knuckles. Burning forearms. Grip on the edge of failure. That maximum neural drive is what triggers a testosterone response that can last up to 48 hours after your session. Plus, the upright posture promotes optimal hormone circulation, making this hold the perfect bridge between grip activation and full-body hormonal stimulation. The dead hang builds pure grip endurance. The farmer's hold adds postural strength and systemic tension. Together, they create the hormonal foundation your body needs for what comes next. Now that grip activation is locked in, these next holds target upper body muscle groups packed with androgen receptors. Upper body hold number one, the inverted row hold. Position yourself under a sturdy table, desk, or suspension straps. Grab with an overhand grip, hands shoulder width apart. Keep your body in a straight line from head to heels, heels on the ground. Pull your chest toward the anchor point, stop just before contact, and hold that top position for 15 to 30 seconds. Lower slowly with control. Why it works? This horizontal pull activates your lats, rhomboids, and rear delts. All muscle groups with high androgen receptor density. The sustained contraction creates mechanical tension, while your grip continues firing mechanoreceptor signals to the brain. That combination amplifies the testosterone spike initiated by your foundational holds. Upper body hold number two, the static dip hold. This completes your upper body hormonal activation. Use parallel bars, dip handles, or two sturdy chairs. Lower yourself into the bottom position of a dip, 
shoulders slightly below elbows, and maintain a crushing grip on the handles. Hold time, 15 to 30 seconds. Why this position is powerful. The deep stretch creates extreme mechanical tension in your chest, shoulders, and triceps, demands high neural stabilization, and keeps your grip signaling through mechanoreceptors. The stretch activates muscle spindles, boosting neural drive to hormone-producing centers, while grip intensity keeps the testosterone pathway fully engaged. Now we shift from activation to amplification, because these final three holds target what your body simply cannot ignore. Your largest muscle groups, the highest total metabolic demand, and the hormonal response triggered by lactate buildup. Here's the secret. When you hold big muscles under tension long enough, blood flow gets restricted. That creates metabolic stress, lactate and metabolic byproducts that signal your endocrine system. Adapt, recover, build, and that's when anabolic hormones, like testosterone, rise. If the first four holds prime the signal, these next three create a system-wide hormonal surge. Amplifier number one, the horse stance. Feet slightly wider than shoulder width, toes forward. Drop down as if sitting on an invisible chair, thighs parallel to the floor. Keep your core tight and torso tall. Hold time, start at 30 seconds. Work your way up to two minutes. Why it works? It hits your quads, glutes, and core simultaneously, creating massive metabolic stress in your biggest muscles. That sustained contraction restricts blood flow, builds lactate, and prompts your body to increase anabolic output. The moment your thighs rise above parallel, the testosterone-boosting effect drops sharply. Your legs will burn. That burn isn't damage, it's the hormonal trigger. Amplifier number two, the glute bridge hold. Lie on your back, knees bent, feet flat. Drive through your heels and lift your hips until your body forms a straight line from knees to shoulders. Squeeze your glutes as hard as possible and lock the position. Hold time, 45 to 60 seconds. Why this is huge? Your glutes are the largest muscle group in your body and one of the most responsive to anabolic signaling. Maximal isometric contraction equals high metabolic stress. High metabolic stress equals stronger systemic hormone signal. Plus, the hip extension supports healthy pelvic circulation. Another reason this is a natural testosterone optimization powerhouse. Amplifier number three, the wall sit. Back flat against a wall. Slide down until your thighs are parallel to the floor, knees at 90 degrees, feet shoulder width apart, arms relaxed or crossed. Hold time, 60 to 90 seconds. Why it's so effective? Your quads are packed with androgen receptors. This sustained isometric contraction restricts blood flow, forces lactate accumulation, and creates what researchers call metabolic stress. That stress is a signal. A signal telling your body, release anabolic hormones to adapt. Because your quads are among your largest muscles, the effect isn't local. It's systemic. Now, let's tie it all together. These seven holds work through two powerful mechanisms. Grip-driven neural activation, metabolic stress in hormone-sensitive muscles. That's why the effect is both potent and sustainable. Here's the exact protocol, three times per week, on non-consecutive days. Dead hang, max timer 90 seconds farmer's hold, 60 seconds rest 90 seconds inverted row hold, 20 seconds rest 90 seconds static dip hold, 15 seconds rest 90 seconds horse stance, 45 seconds rest 90 seconds glute bridge hold, 45 seconds rest 90 seconds wall sit, 60 seconds. Total time, just 15 minutes, including rest. Why 90 seconds of rest? Shorter rests compromise form and weaken the signal. Longer rests dissipate metabolic stress. This timing keeps your nervous system engaged, intensity high, and hormonal response optimized. Important science note. Research shows testosterone peaks when workouts stay between 12 and 18 minutes. Go longer and cortisol rises, which suppresses testosterone. More work isn't better. Precision is. Progression rule. Once you can complete a hold with perfect form, add 10 to 15 seconds the following week. Track your times consistently. Progress is what keeps your hormonal system responding. What to expect? Week 1, better sleep 
more stable energy weeks 2 to 3, increased morning drive and motivation weeks 4 to 6, peak hormonal response. Each session creates an acute spike lasting 24 to 48 hours. Consistency beats intensity every single time. These seven holds work with your biology, not against it. No drugs, no gimmicks, just precise stimulation of the systems already built into your body. Start with the foundation holds this week. Track your progress. Let your body remember what true vitality feels like. Your body knows what to do. Now you do too. Copy Ask Explain Translate ESCS.